Greetings, a quick video, I've got a new toy and this is a, um, a color sensor. So this is a GY31 um, color sensor for um, designed to work with Arduino and the lookalikes. And what it is, is a nice little module, it's a bit like a camera, uh, but instead of uh, producing a video image, it uh, basically uh, sends out information only about the color that is uh, that is placed in front of the sensor. And um, the four LEDs around are simply to illuminate uh, what's in front of it. And the little chip inside um, is called uh, me, TCS3 uh, TCS3200. So that uh, this. This this chip basically what it does, um, it's a it's a color to frequency light to frequency converter. So it uh, it has a few control inputs uh, which I'll um, talk briefly uh, about in a second, and uh, it's got one output and the frequency of the uh, signal on that output depends on the intensity of intensity of the light of a particular wavelength in front of it. So basically. With four control inputs, uh, two of them you select sensitivity um, by setting them high and low, high and low, and whatnot. And two of them uh, you select which color you want to measure. And all the information about this can be found on the internet. But basically, um, you set it to green, and it will uh, it will send out a certain frequency. Now with an Arduino, uh, the lookalike, uh, what you can do is simply either measure the frequency or measure the pulse length which is uh, what I uh, what I will be doing and based on that you can determine the color um, it's it's all a little bit relative but it, it does the job now on the chip inside the TCS3200 uh, what you've got on the on the little chip is uh, is an array of 8x8 8 8, so um, 64 photodiodes um, 16, um, 16 for green, 16 for blue, 16 for red, and 16 for white. Uh, just white spectrum, um, I guess. And um, based on that, you can measure four uh, aspects of the light or the color um, in front of it. And it's a, it's a nice little sensor. I've uh, soldered a few wires to it. it basically the four control wires and power and the output. Um, on the module itself there's also an LED um, signal, basically what that is is uh, just a signal for a transistor. I think there is a transistor somewhere on here, yeah, underneath. Um, for that transistor to switch on the LEDs so they don't uh, stay um, alight all the time, you can basically, from a micro, you can uh, pulse them only when uh, when you're taking a measurement for the light. So let's um, let's do a little test and see how that works, and um, then we'll have a look at the array um, under a microscope because uh, it's a really nice uh, see-through chip, which is not uh, very often. Uh, available with the exposed die so yeah we'll have a look at the array of the photodiodes um, see how it uh, how it looks at the magnification but now let's uh, let's just do a quick uh, test and demo of uh, different color uh, color sensing those LEDs actually uh, by the way they've uh, when this came they were all straight and bent out uh, out of order and what I found um, after playing with this for a while I couldn't get it to get any reasonable readings those have to be uh, pushed back uh, behind the side, so the the sensor is not in direct sight of the LEDs, because the the strong light from the um, LEDs confuses um, the hell out of it. Um, so as long as it's behind this um, enclosure or below the line of the top of the enclosure, it's fine. Um, and um, yeah, this way I'm I'm able to get the best um, sort of reading. So. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to try to, I've never used this before, I'm going to try to uh, record a section of the screen on my computer. So one more time, I've got it connected to um, to the Arduino and I'm going to start recording. And, oh jeez, this is not straightforward. Okay, there we go, I think I'm recording. So, let's give it a shot. So, first of all, this is blue square pencil um, or marker pen on a white background. And it's 
it's really indecisive to be honest. Um, what you're looking for on the screen is the, it's measuring the pulse length and the more color it sees of a certain value the higher frequency it outputs so you're looking for the shortest pulse length and it kinda is so the blue is at uh, 150 and red and green are over 200. Now if we move to the green one we should see a change and for some reason with that that's only with the marker pen it picks up a lot more blue than green in this case now with red it will the red will jump down quite a lot um, but yeah it's uh, the white background doesn't seem to help I've noticed that with a black background the results are much more consistent um, so again blue that's on the black background and blue is blue is the lowest value of the three and now the green again and green is not the lowest it's in the middle but that's only with this shade of green so those uh, it doesn't seem to like this uh, uh, this uh, this marker pen thingy magic uh, but yeah red uh, as before picks up but again the one I've tried then is the corpse of the uh, battery charger I had and this one picks up beautifully green so I think, hold on, let's see, yeah, so as you can see green drops uh, much lower than everything else, it's noticeable that, yeah, it's definitely green. Um, so it's uh, it's definitely uh, working, it's maybe just this shade of, uh, of green. Um, let's try a little bit of yellow. So with yellow you can see um, that green and red are quite low. Um, so high frequency and blue is uh, much higher. So again, those readings are not an absolute value readings. This is all relative. So uh, when you use this type of sensor, you've got to get it to learn specific colors and whatnot. Um, well, I've also noticed I've got a few uh, just memo uh, stickers uh, on here. And it works a lot better off of reflective surfaces. Um, so this this will be almost ideal. So this is blue and you can see blues at 80, red and green are much uh, over 150. Now green and green drops much below uh, 70, 80 and both both the other ones are a lot higher. Yellow, so yellow we've got a bit of a mixture but mostly green and red is low, blue is higher. And orange and pink it's uh, kind of difficult for it to uh, work out what's what. Um, between the two, but I guess with a, a couple of readings in controlled conditions and controlled lighting um, It's possible to to get it to learn um, every single um, Color value that you require And again blue on the case of the Yeah, we've got 220 everything else is quite uh, quite high over 400 and red at 1000 so um, Yeah, it all depends on how close you keep it to uh, to the object how or how far um, the readings change a little bit but again it's it, for this to work you need to have controlled conditions that you've uh, you've run a few uh, sample objects um, to get uh, get the readings and based on that you can uh, you can work out what's what and um, you can have your micro use it uh, further on so yeah overall uh, that's quite an interesting module um, so I'm uh, Right now, let's um, have a look at the actual die and see um, see what the the array of uh, photodiodes looks like. Okay, so what we're looking at is um, an array of the photodiodes, and you can clearly see different colors uh, for each uh, for each array. Uh, this is an eight by eight square, eight by eight squares in a bigger square. So the whole sensor is uh, made of. Uh, 8 uh, by 8 so 64 um, 64 little squares like that and each square I guess is uh, uh, contains a few photodiodes under the filter um, but this is as, as far as we can uh, we can get into it to see uh, what's actually on there and uh, the bond wires come out to the edge of the chip and that that's uh, that's all there is to it um, but it's nice to see really, uh, really big and uh, uh, clear, uh, big and clear pixels. 
Um, so of course this hasn't got any lens and um, the chip on the oh, I've gone a little bit out of focus the chip on the takes an average out of uh, all the uh, photodiodes um, to get to get the reading uh, but if there was a lens applied to it uh, this is exactly the same as um, as a camera sensor um, if if uh, each photodiode was um, addressable individually uh, this could as well uh, serve as a camera sensor very low resolution but uh, the principle is uh, is the same I guess um, so yeah um, I guess that's uh, that's all for this uh, short video and an in-depth view on the GY13 color sensor uh, with TCS3200 chip uh, on the so yeah that's all um, if you enjoyed the video please uh, make sure to give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more random content um, as far as this one that's all take care